have you ever gone to your terrace and noticed a dish like structure well ever wondered what is this well this is a satellite dish you can see the shape of this dish actually looks like half of a sphere now what is this half of a sphere what is it termed as well it is termed as hemisphere so the shape of this dish is actually a hemisphere well not only this but you can see that when we cut an orange the orange that represents a sphere now we cut this through a plane from its center into two parts so this actually divides into hemisphere so you can say that hemi this represents half so hemisphere is what half of a sphere now let's see how we are forming hemispheres from a sphere like this we are cutting it from the center into two parts so these parts should be equal now these form hemisphere so you can see how one sphere is cut into equal two parts which form hemisphere that is half of a sphere now you know that surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square where r is the radius of the sphere now what about surface area of a hemisphere just now we have learned that hemisphere is half of the sphere so the surface area should also be half so what we can do we can divide it by 2 so this is the curved surface area of this hemisphere which is half the surface area of this sphere what we have done we have divided the surface area of the sphere by 2 so what do we get we get this as 2 pi r square so this is the curved surface area of this sphere that is this dark blue part now the curved surface area of the hemisphere is this dark blue part that is 2 pi r square but do you think this is enough to describe the surface area of a hemisphere well what about this light shaded part this also counts as the surface of the hemisphere so this is missing in a sphere but we have to add this when we are describing or when we are finding out the surface area of a hemisphere so the curved surface area of the hemisphere is what 2 pi r square that is this part now this part that is the light shaded part is actually the area of the base now what is the area of a base that is a circle the area of the circle is pi r square so here this is acting as the curved surface area of the hemisphere and this is acting as the area of the base so to find out the total surface area of a hemisphere we need to add these both so adding we get 2 pi r square plus pi r square that gives us 3 pi r square so we can say that the total surface area of a hemisphere is the curved surface area that is this part that is calculated by 2 pi r square and this is the area of the base that is when we are cutting the sphere into two the face that we see that is a circle that is represented by pi r square now adding these we get 3 pi r square that defines the total surface area of the hemisphere so now the radius of this hemisphere is 7 cm can you find out the total surface area of this hemisphere well the total surface area is what curved surface area plus area of the base that is what 2 pi r square plus pi r square that gives us 3 pi r square so let us substitute r's value in this formula so we get 3 into 22 by 7 into r square that is r into r 7 into 7 so cancelling this we get 462 cm square so the total surface area of this hemisphere is 462 cm square now we are using square units because area is always represented in square units